Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the vocal effects in the PC version of BandLab. When you record with a microphone, you can end up with some unwanted background noise that is noticeable between the words of your song. But one way to quickly remove background noise is to use a noise gate. To the left of the vocal track name, click the S to solo the vocal track. At the bottom left of the browser window, click on FX Effects. At the bottom of the browser window, in the Effects window, click on Add Effect. Move the mouse cursor over Dynamics, then click on Noise Gate. Click on the play icon at the top of the browser window to play your vocal track. Press down the left mouse button on the threshold knob icon and drag the mouse cursor slowly down the screen until you hear the background noise. Then drag the mouse cursor back up the screen until the background noise between the words is gone. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose Then out of the shadows came you out of the shadows When most people sing, they sing some of the words louder and some of the words quieter than others making some of the words too loud and some of the words too quiet in the song mix. But one way to make louder words quieter and quieter words louder is to use a compressor. At the bottom of the browser window, in the FX window, click on Add Effect. Move the mouse cursor over Dynamics, then click on BL1176. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose Then out of the shadows came you Getting the right microphone for your voice can be difficult and expensive. Some microphones can make your voice sound murky and bassy and other microphones can make your voice sound thin and tinny. But one way to improve your vocal recording, and even make it easier to mix, is to use a graphic equaliser. At the bottom of the browser window, in the FX window, click on Add Effect. Move the mouse cursor over Tone, then click on the Graphic EQ. If your vocals sound too bassy, move the green dots on the sliders below 100Hz, 200 hertz and 400 hertz by dragging the dots down the slider. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose then out of the shadows if your vocals sound too tinny, move the green dots on the sliders below 3.2 kHz and 6.4 kHz by dragging the dots down the slider. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose then out of the shadows to help your vocal stand out in the sound mix move the green dots on the sliders below 800 hertz and 1.6 kilohertz by dragging the dots up the slider
I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. Then out of the shadows came you. Some microphones can make the letter S in your words stick out like a hissing snake. But one way to make the letter S sound less like a hissing snake is to use a de -esser. At the bottom of the browser window, in the effects window, click on add effect. Move the mouse cursor over dynamics and click on de -esser. Press down on the left mouse button on the threshold knob icon and drag the mouse cursor up or down the screen to adjust the amount of the S sound that is removed. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose then out of the shadows came you. Once you've created your own vocal FX setup in BandLab, you can save it and use it in other songs. At the bottom left of the browser window and to the left of the FX window, click on Save As. Type in a name for your custom FX setup. Then click on Create. You can now use this vocal effect setup in any of your songs, simply by clicking on the down arrow on the drop down list below the word Preset when you have clicked on FX Effects to highlight it green. Then move the mouse cursor so it is at the top of the list and over the words My Presets. Then click on the name of your vocal effect setup in the drop down list. Finally, to the left of the vocal track name, click on the S to turn off solo for your vocal track. I came from If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.